Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a One Piece Chapter 5 review. Okay, knocking another one of these out of here right now. So, One Piece Chapter 5. The main thing in this episode, or this chapter, was Lu was uh, getting a little bit on Zoro's past, okay? And I'm kind of conflicted on the flashback that we got here, okay? Basically, when he was a little boy, he was part of some, uh, I'm guessing, some kendo dojo. It didn't specifically say kendo, but I'm guessing it was, that it was some sort of a kendo dojo. Alright, and he and he was stronger than most everyone, despite his age. Even the adults couldn't beat him. But, there was this one chick who... At first, I didn't like her at all. She always beat him, which is, you know, fine. Okay, she's the only one who can beat him, but... The way she acted at first came off to me as extremely bitchy, like calling him worthless just because she couldn't beat him or her, even though he can beat everyone else, even the fucking adults, you know. And later on, we do get a more sympathetic side with her. She's she basically crying, um, say, saying that, you know, eventually she's going to fall behind everyone else because she believes that... She won't be able to stand up to them for very long because she's a female and physical strength and everything. Okay, and I like this, but I kind of wish that they would have expanded, uh, made it last more of the chapter. And the reason I say this is because I really think it's kind of half ass when you go straight from her being a bitch immediately with no build up to her being a bit more sympathetic and that is kind of a complaint that I do have about this chapter okay but I do like it I, it just definitely could have been a lot better is basically what I'm saying okay but I do I do really like the flashback he and and it's actually really sad because he and her promised that one of them would become the greatest swordsman in the world first and the next day she falls down a flight of stairs and dies Okay, here's another issue I had. You know, I... I figured that Oda would pull, like, you know, she's gonna die soon thing, but falling down some stairs, really? I mean, I know human beings are fragile creatures, but come on. That seriously what killed her, falling down a flight of stairs? I'm sorry, I'm not buying that at all. Unless she fell down the stairs backwards and hit her head... head her head and roll the back of her neck on every single fucking step. And even then there should be like some way to save her. Even in the time period this takes place in. I'm not sure, too sure what time period this takes place in, but still. Um, so yeah, I'm not buying that at all. I, I thought that death was, ex was extremely weak, in my opinion, okay? But other than that, though, I did kind of like the flashback. Although I did think it, that it could have been done better. And... Then, the rest of the chapter is pretty much just Luffy finding, or, yeah, finding uh, Zoro's swords, all three of them, and bringing them back to him, okay? And at the end of the chapter, Zoro basically makes the decision that, okay, after all, he's, he's going to join, or he, he's thinking about joining Luffy's pirate crew after all. And that's where the chapter ends. So, what did I think of this chapter in the end? It was actually quite good. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that One Piece can get really sad, okay? Even though I did have a couple of complaints with the flashback in this chapter, I thought it was kind of sad. You know, when she, when, when she was breaking down and crying in front of Zoro, and when she ended up dying. Again, I thought those two scenes were a bit weaker than I would have liked, but they were still okay. And, and they were definitely kind of sad, alright? And I definitely enjoyed the flashback overall. Now, other than that, there's not really anything else in this chapter we're talking about, I don't think. The chapter overall was good, and I can't wait for the next chapter. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for them to get, break out of the Marines' prison, though. Um, I, I, it's going by a bit faster than I thought it would. Like, if this was Naruto or Bleach, it probably would have gone by a lot slower than this. If I were to say, you know, so it's definitely going by a lot faster than I thought it would, but I don't think it's too rushed either. Again, except for the flashback, which I definitely thought was rushed. Okay, but other other than that, the rest of this arc so far, I don't really think it's too rushed either, even though it's going by kind of fast, which is good, of course. 
So anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.